So I was calling for a different client, and then I missed a call, um, and I went back and called that record, uh, and I talked to this guy over in the tech department at the school, and I said, oh, I think I missed a call from you. He said, I have not touched my phone this morning. So I have no idea who called me from that school, but it, I ended up being able to talk to this guy over in the tech department and he said they use about 80 iPads, mostly for their kindergarten and all of their teachers use iPads as well. So uh, he says some of them use keyboards and really enjoy using that for their devices. And so it would make a lot of sense to get it over to the teachers over there to see if it would, you know, our device would be better than what they got now. And so sending sample over there to them. They got a little bit older generation, so a little bit cheaper price point. So I think it could be something that's good for them. Did you get one? Got a call back. Beauty. There we go. Got a call back, left a voicemail for president. She forwarded to her IT director, who called, told me everything. He's just looking more for a discovery conversation. They've got a company they work with. They go to like RFP mode when they look at things. Um, they might have a, uh, a few years left on their contract, so I'm not exactly sure. But he's just interested in getting to know us. He was looking at the website as I was talking to him on the phone. So that's that's where we're at for right now. It's just going to be a discovery phone call. Um, went for a team's meeting, but said it'd be easier. We kind of picked like four or five different times and then finally found one that worked. So just going to get our foot in the door that way and see what happens. Yeah, I got an appointment this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 35 users between four locations. It's for my partner up in uh, Pittsburgh, Gen Lore. It's with a financial firm where I spoke with the CEO about a year ago. He told me that they were under contract to the end of 2022, but had no need. So I was following up with him earlier, I guess middle of this year, and uh, I was told that he was let go. So I uh, ended up speaking to the new CEO. He goes, I've been in this role for about a month now, follow up with me, or shoot me an email, then follow up with me. I'd love to really just see what else is out there. So I talked with him back in August, and uh, I was trying to get a hold of him since. He uh, finally picked up the phone this morning, a couple, two months later, and uh, we hammered down a time for next week, uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, because he made sure that I did in the afternoon, because I recommended a couple morning times. He goes, if you recommend morning again, uh, I'm not gonna be awake for it. So, <laughs> so hopefully it should, be, it should be a really, really good one. It looks like contract's coming up soon, 35 users between four locations. I think, uh, I think this one's gonna be a really, really good one, and it's in person, so give us a chance to really put that face in the name. So it's for a, uh, it's for a big pharmaceutical company and a global IT director attended ours, uh, was de attended Synoptic CIO workshop back in, or CIO like institute. The, the global IT director attended Synoptic's CIO, CISO institute back in the summer. And when I was called to follow up with him, I was pitching, you know, we recently had our uh, Forrester study done. It showed 188% increase in ROI by partnering up with us and just wanted to share it with them and, and go from there. And he was on board. He was actually on PTO. So I was very lucky that he caught my call. We found a good time to talk and hopefully, you know, something moves forward with it. Yeah, so I set one uh, for my Kansas City client. It's with a manufacturer. And he's, he was super happy with his IT, uh, loves his guy, been working up with them for 10 years. And whenever I get people like those, you know, I'm not trying to burn, burn someone's bridge with someone they really like, but I always try and pivot to VoIP and phones. And sure enough, this guy used a, a random third party vendor for their VoIP. And so that became, you know, an, an option for a conversation. Let them know how we've been able to save our clients money on phones and wanted to send them over some info, schedule a follow-up call, and that's what we did. It was about 75 users, and so we'll see what happens.